Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold it, hold it. Who are you? What are you? Nobody knows. Just us. They are Brian, and Giuseppe, and I'm Cyborg. Oh, I thought you were somebody else. I thought you were following me. Eh, no. Well then, what are you guys doing out here? We're lost, are we looking for something to eat? Oh yeah, we're kind of hungry. Oh, well, I've got a crab leg and a blue marlin. And soda? So your name's Raven, and you ran away from home. How did you know? Your name's on your amulet. Oh yes, it's Princess Raven. I'm free, I don't have a home anymore. I'm a princess, my prince died. When I am 22 years. What about your father was the emperor? Oh, Emperor Kudo was the father. My emperor was on an expedition climbing in the mountains when the snow gave way in. The avalanche? Uh huh. And he was the most likely emperor in the universe. He had his own special place just for the two of us. And I'm one of those two rights. And? And that's where you were going. Aha! Uh -huh. And to get away from the master squid. He's not really my uncle, just my shark. He's taken over the house. He moved my room to the attic and gave my room to his niece, named Invisible Robot, and her chow chow dog Takara Rock. Oh, the Master Squid asked the following about Invisible Robot and Takara Rock anyway. The Master Squid was always calling me a princess. He even stole my amulet and threw it out the window. But I climbed down and found it. And kept on running. As fast as I could, and I'm never going back. Oh, okay, real smart bookworm. You got a roof over your head, three strong meals. One day a warm bed who'd want to leave that. I hate to admit it, Raven, but Brian's right. You never know what you're missing till you don't have it. You don't know how big it seems extreme, but underneath he's mean, really mean. Oh, come on. I'll bet he's frantic looking for you. Uh, sure. She's crying her eyes out for you right this minute. <laughs>